This like, Roy. This Roy. <laughs> this Roy. Um, I've seen what Mumfunken Mars can do with this Lucas. He can do very well. Another uh, side. And we're seeing it's from Alfredo. Alfredo from UCLA. UCLA. Okay. I have I have little knowledge about Alfredo, but I have a lot of knowledge about Roy we'll do himself. Uh, but first, before I talk about Roy, <coughs> let me talk about Lucas. Um, I asked Mumfunken from Mars about the buffs from Lucas before, uh, before this tournament started. He told me one thing. F-Tilt kills 25% earlier. And that really, really scared me because one of one of the very one, one of the downfalls of Roy is that he doesn't really like snap to the ledge with his up B. He yeah. kinda goes over it, right? Does F tilt reach? F tilt I believe reaches. Ooh, but, but you don't need F tilt. You don't need F tilt when, when you got, got back, a back air. air. <laughs> yeah, hit him with back hit him with that back air. Hit him with the, the knee. Tip. Yeah. The the Lucas knee right there, but but this is really doable for Alfredo here. All he needs to do is just kind of down to the ledge. Muffin of Mars has been, you know, uh, stalling on the ledge there. Mm -hmm. he's okay, he got, he got a little bit shook yeah. off there. He, but he was able to keep his composure back. Yeah, see right there. That down tilt, that was nice. But Muffin from Mars was just a little bit too far forward. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, too far above him to be caught by that down tilt. I like use of the, I like use of the PK freeze in order to stall his landing in order to cover it a little more. And also, Lucas has the down smash. And yeah. Roy's quite vulnerable to those things, so you actually saw that uh, Alfredo went for a ledge stall there, going for it. But remember, even though Lucas has all these tools, it is Roy after all. Yes, Roy. While like while Roy is very exploitable, especially in this matchup, I I feel like Chrome would be better in this matchup. Oh my! Oh, he tried to yeah, he, he tried to take those? it from side to side. Yeah, but that was a good tech. Post. That was a good tech from Alfredo to in order to get out of it. And remember, Roy, he does still have that uh, jab confirm, and like exactly what I just said from there, but. At 99%, 112 off the stage already. Yep. It's not looking too good, and immediately calls up the air dodge. Yeah, and the use of your PK freeze from Muffin from Mars is one of his one of the staples of his gameplay. Oh my god! Yeah, he won. I know, I know, he wanted that dare <coughs> there, but he did not go for it. Roy would not make that back if he dared. Mm -hmm, but it's still these strings that he's able to get like that. Oh, there we go! Oh, with that F smash, <laughs> disgusting coming from Roy. Oh god! That's the kill power that he has. You know, <laughs> hit someone. He's just a boy. He's just a boy. They're both boys, but Roy's our boy. Yeah, Roy's our boy. Roy's out here being being our actual boy here. Uh huh. He's got it, and here comes the dancing blade, twenty-two percent already. Roy has one of the best dancing blades out of all the swords. Double edge dance, bro. Double edge dance. Yeah, and he's doing so well. <laughs> Look at these down tilts coming in, poking away at his knees. Oh my God. I right, gonna get hit by the PK fire right there. He's gonna get pushed back Ooh, with like the, the dash attack. Very nice usage of the Zare from Mars there. Mm -hmm. He's able to get out of that string. Goes for that up air, but misses the air dodge. Not punished though, so he's gonna be okay. Alfredo looking for these down tilts and walling him out with these fares, but that nice job into Zara to grab. All right, gonna get. Oh, not gonna get punished. Ah, uh, no, you can't do but that, there, my guy. Oh, he's, he's alive. still gonna live. Uh, still gonna live from the middle of the stage. Roy, still, uh, still a scary character here, and that. Oh, he he delayed it a little bit too much there. Not able to connect. That fair though. Gonna hit him up, trying to get out of from this ledge situation. That Nair gonna catch him out. PK Ooh, Fire nice barely shot. misses though. He's gonna be okay. That footstool actually came into play, but the PK Fire pushes up once more. PK Freeze <laughs> up. What's the option? He needs to get out of this corner. Hits him with the up and into the backer. Nice double, conversion. Double sour spot there. Not do working well for Alfredo out here, but Muffin Ramar is still fighting back. Uh -huh. And that up air not going to connect after the jab. He's going to go for an up throw here. It's not going to kill. It oh, is going to kill. kill. It does kill. So there we go. Alfredo takes game number one. That's unfortunate. That's a very close set. Which, is, which is really weird because it's not Roy and uh, Roy Krom and Marcina. Their Marcina. up throws aren't really supposed to kill <laughs> at that percent. Croy and but Marcina. It, I would not. You're going to invoke the rage of everybody. On Saying Croy? Yeah, you're going to invoke the rage of Twitter <laughs> if you do that. Wow, this guy named Wolf Scratch sitting on the hat stream when he finally got casters. He said Croy. How yeah. dare he? But speaking of Lucina. <laughs> Just, just, just say their names separately. But uh -huh. coming out here with Lucina, a more solid pick. Uh, more consistent. Yeah, more consistent pick for this matchup. Not saying that the Roy was bad. He was doing really well with Roy, but it just did not pan out for him in the in the end. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, with this character, he can go off uh, deeper and uh, edge guard Muffin from Mars a little bit more than uh, than Roy allowed him to before. Ooh, very nice. Gets an air two into Dancing Blade one and two, but Ooh, not gonna I love it. But remember. Just like that, he's gonna punish it once more. Actually, unable to get it. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, if he had went for tilt or down tilt, he would have been able to get it. But he went for 
for the hilt down tilt. Oop, he's gotta watch able, out. Yeah, he's gotta definitely watch out for that, but great use of those aerials. So Lucina has a harder time rushing in because she, she is Roy, you know, he needs to keep the distance. But this PK Thunder is causing a lot of trouble for Alfredo. Yeah, Lucina herself is a much slower character than Roy, but she makes up with her with the consistency of her punish game. She also forces Ooh, the enemy to play neutral, but Muffin from Mars is neutral is something is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, so I we, we both said that Alfredo switching to Lucina, he'll be able to go for more of these edge guards, but what's the point of edge guarding if you can't even get them off? Yeah, you have to with with Lucina and Marth, you have to win a lot uh, quite a bit of neutral exchanges. Because they don't have flashy combos, they have the one-two combos and that's it. And then they have to go back to neutral and try to force out another option for their opponent. So great that's hit. very yeah, nice counter good. right there. Will they get it the second time? No, misses a great angle from Muffin from Mars, angling up on purpose just to avoid the counter. But that PK Thunder is so exploitable, trying to get around it and the freeze. Gonna miss. And like you said with those one-two combos, the strength about Lucina and Mark is that they're able he, to chip away, but great use of that dare to get him off. Yeah, he pulled him with the dare from the stage off the stage to get that spike. And that was very good awareness from Muffin and Mars. Quite a uh, very few Lucases I've seen actually make use of dare like that. Yeah, so very good stuff to Muffin really, and Mars. These stairs are amazing to watch from Muffin and Mars. Able to use that Goody used that down special to be reversed and find the counter came a little too late. Great job from Muffin and Mars. He's really adapting to uh, knowing how exploitable his recovery is, especially with these counters. is unable to get in, but oh. Alfredo, we're seeing... What's crazy about that, in, uh, that exchange there if his jab have moved his foot a little bit further forward, uh -oh. it doesn't matter. It doesn't that matter. foot With is going to cause a three stock. A three stock. If I'm a fighter right now, I'm going I'm to think about pulling that Roy back up because because sure, Lucina better with edge cutting, right? That, that's no that's no mistake. Roy can't really go wait, for Wait, wait, wait. What? Is it three out of five? Nah, it's, it's the best, best out of three. Who oh, wait, no. We just played, this, that was just game two. And Muffin won game one. No, he didn't. Didn't he? No. Roy won. Remember? Oh, the up throw. Yeah. The up throw. <laughs> it's because it was up throw. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. Yep. Uh, up throw got me, got me feeling all sorts of fear. <laughs> <laughs> All sorts of confused today. All right, but Roy definitely, uh, I would say it's a better pick. I mean, Lucina can, you know, go for the edge guard, like yeah, I said earlier, but and, that rush down. And it, it feels like Roy is his character, not Lucina. Again, yeah. like, the character can be better, but if it's not better for you, you probably won't have better results. It's like uh, when you're first picking up the game, you want to go for the character that you're most comfortable with. Not, you don't want to focus on that tier list. Yeah. But uh, speaking of that, this stage has been going through a lot of uh, analysis between a bunch of players. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I have not seen. I have not seen this stage. Two mm -hmm. GG uh, has been experimenting, but a great read on that one, Chair. Yeah, not a lot Chair of from Mars. I mean, that's fair enough. His name is still Chair. Uh huh. But yeah. Um, Damn, what was I saying? <laughs> we, were, we were talking about the stage, then we talked about how you got confused about that up throw, and you were talking about how you need to stick to comfort picks instead of just better characters. Uh, like Lucina. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I was talking about the, the tech roll in. Uh, the tech roll, a lot of people panic and try to get away from the ledge, right? And Muffin from Mars took advantage of that panic state, uh, panic state of mind, and just got him with a forward smash. And Muffin from Mars has adapted really well, and he's showing it in his gameplay right now. Look he at that call out. Continue to run at him. Just expecting him to roll, so it's roll or spot dodge so he can react to it. That was uh -huh. very nice for Muffin. And when he saw that nothing was happening, he just went for it. That's unfortunate for Alfredo, though. He's going for the up air because up air doesn't kill as early as back oh, air. Oh, but that neutral special does. Yeah, he got him with the blazer right there. Very nice from Alfredo landing with it. Uh, it has very little lag uh, after you use it. Uh, very deceptive lag. Mm -hmm. And he needs, he needs to get these combo stringers off or else Muffin Mars is just going to slowly whittle him down. Mm -hmm. That's like the really big... That's like what's, what Lucas is so good at. His PK fire, his aerials are so good at chipping away and Dead Split comes out. Almost got the roll, but here comes the conversion. Yeah, he got the conversion off of the double edge dance right there. It's really good that Alfredo's recognizing what Mars' uh -oh. uh, habits are this, uh, this far into the set. Oh, he actually got... 
actually made it back. Oh god, he's double, he re-grabbed, but he didn't do anything about it. That could have been a down tilt that was free, but now Roy is in a disadvantage, stuck at this corner, trying to get out, rolls out away. All right, holding neutral here, just going for the up air, not a really expected option from from Roy's in general. He's going for it, but that PK fire perfectly placed to cut him off, and that down smash was too far away. Interesting, he decided to go for a jump off of the down smash instead of a get up attack. He would have used his invincibility frame to push oh, Muffin away from him. Platform. And, ooh, talk about smash real assist yeah. coming out right here. Totally different stage, but same results nonetheless. Yeah, he's going for it already. That Zare pushing him off. Roy has to end the stock fast because up for Mars, once he gets that lead, it is horrible to go against. Yeah, and right there, just getting double sour spot up air is not something you want to see from Roy. And Ooh. he tries to get him with a forward tilt and almost gets clipped for it with a PK fire. Back air? No, going to go for a forward air when it could have been an up air. And that F tilt they were talking about. Ah. Oh, he's trying to use Muffin. it again. Muffin, that's not okay. <laughs> he's going for it. He already studied the stage. He already knows what's up on it. Those moving platforms. He knows he's got a stock. Yeah. This is going to be an up throw. That should be it. Mm -hmm. Now you believe it's an up throw. Because it's 186 for Yeah, it was 186. Okay, he gets him with a flare uh -oh. blade there. Gets with the up air string after the nair. Continues with the up airs. No, not going to be able to connect with a forward air. A little bit too far from him. Uh -huh. Double down tilt, not able this. to catch him. I love these dash dances that Alfredo is putting out to more to mix it up. Oh my god, oh that god. was almost Oh caught. god, I thought he, he turned around and forward smash, but it was a forward tilt for the sake of all of us. And Ooh. he stays in place uh -huh. because he knows. Dancing okay, goes with, a, uh, goes with the double edge dance version 4. Okay. Double edge dance. All right, my bad, my bad. But he's oh, uh, that was a really nice forward tilt, but he was able to get it. He gets a forward tilt, he's going to get killed. He does this. <gasps> Alfredo actually takes it over from Mars. That was an amazing conversion from Alfredo, bringing it all the way back. <laughs> using using the downwards variation of double edge dance on the on mm -hmm. the fourth version, uh, on the fourth 